Imagine a world of extreme weather events with no technology and no form of communication to keep ourselves safe. Regardless of how we communicated during the past century, the next 100 years will unquestionably be far different and ever-changing. When you're communicating with the public, I think the biggest challenge is why they should care, why the research or the science we're doing will impact them and, they, and that they should really care about the solutions. I think the biggest one is an internal challenge, and that is to disseminate information that is technical in nature to the general public in a way that is impacting, concise, and will work to build the foundation of their knowledge about weather. So I think it's going to become increasingly a challenge to put out that information and maybe stand out with your trustworthy information in a sea of hype. Well, one of my biggest challenges is getting people to pay attention to critical messages and extreme weather events. From broadcast meteorologists to climate scientists and environmentalists, we all face communication challenges. In what ways can each specialty improve engagement with other disciplines, policymakers, and even the public? But these are important issues, and, and voters have to make decisions to uh, all kinds of policies that relate to the environment and climate change. And I think my peers realize it's important. So there's more and more effort to communicate the importance of the issues, how things work, what it means to the general public. One of the biggest challenges involved in communicating about the climate crisis is simply taking what the scientists have said in increasingly urgent tones and then translating it into terms that are accessible to people uh, and make it possible for all of us to see the consequences. Every day, there are scientists and researchers working on new ways to share and exchange information, inform the public, and create an understanding and awareness of our sciences. A lot of people now expect a lot more from us. They want to know exactly what will happen in their area for however long and seeing however much as far as rainfall, snow, storms, um, and it's not an exact science. As the weather, water, and climate enterprise, we must look for new communication opportunities across generations, languages, cultures, and the government, academic, and commercial sectors. Not all TV meteorologists in the Hispanic media have a background in meteorology, so sometimes they, they do not translate warning the same way that maybe one with a background in meteorology would translate it. So it becomes also a communication challenge between those weather reporters into the Hispanic communities. Just in whatever enterprise you're in, whether it be weather or otherwise, you know, that first step into the door and getting, you know, out of school and into the, the career field that you want to be in is tough in and of itself. Our society must be more innovative in ways in which we communicate with the public, but also amongst ourselves. We must find solutions that will mitigate the impact of life-changing weather events. As a student researcher, it seems essential to work on efforts that are collaborative in nature so that I'm able to learn and build on skills that I'm working on, but also add in insights from other sides of the field. Professional weather communities and the industry as a whole can be more inclusive by making sure that the people who make decisions or who are in places of power in those committees or organizations are diverse. I always think that there's still room for more involvement of the students. I feel like some type of survey, some type of direct one-on-one -on -one communication with the Hispanic community will do a, a good job to try to understand what type of terms will they understand better especially for hazardous weather, so that they can also stay safe. We're always rushing around. We only have a few minutes to talk, and sometimes we need a little bit extra time to, to be a better articulate our positions. I think ways that we can improve the way we communicate with the general public is to take a moment, stop for a beat, look at all the scientific jargon you have written down on that paper, and become a translator. Right now, I've got my notifications on Twitter from those accredited sources that I trust. And so when I see something come up from those sources, I will trust it and I will use that in implementing either on air or into my social media posts. People respond to local things that affect 
themselves and their families and their communities. So keeping it local, keeping it real, yeah, I think is, is the key. There's not one solution that's going to get the message across. We need to try to understand why people don't take action or don't understand some emergency messages. In order to do that, we really do need social scientists working with meteorologists in government and in private sector that issue those messages. We also need better simulations and visual scenarios that people can relate to. And for that, we need to continue to fund research and modeling. As a non-scientist and someone who's not a meteorologist myself, uh, obviously, I, I just try to prevail on the patience of the scientists to ask them to explain to me in uh, the simplest possible terms what they're saying. And once I can understand it in simple terms, then that increases my own confidence that I can communicate it to others. But I always check back with the scientists and make sure that I'm not uh, contracting it too much. I don't believe that you need to keep the weather information from different platforms. You want to share it with as many platforms as possible so that people know what to expect and they can trust you and get to know you as a scientist and a meteorologist. As AMS members, how are you communicating? In what ways can you become a stronger communicator? As researchers, scientists, and communicators, we must be social engineers, looking to new and adaptive ways to communicate effectively and transform how we communicate. We can make a difference.